So he's the winner of the day. <laughs> How's the feeling? You probably figured it out by now. But if you haven't, today is race day. We are right now in Murten. It's probably 20 minutes east of Freiburg where we're staying. And I've been training well the last couple of days. I'm not sick at all, been healthy, so yeah, I'm feeling good. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, then you have to fill out uh, paper there. Okay, one. Short. Yes. Okay, let's try it again. So number? Perfect, thank you. Alright, bike is good I think. So we got a non-drafting race here today and I have a few hacks. So I've got the TT bars that are modified a bit. The app sawed off the pads here. It's an ITU, I don't really like the pads, I like the hole here. But now since it's non-drafting, I've decided to tape a pair of socks on for padding, so it will be a bit more comfortable. And then I've extended them as far as I can. And since it is non-drafting, we're racing with a bib. And instead of a normal race belt, I will use just a normal elastic band. And there was a third hack. Yeah, the helmet. But as you can see, I've taped the hopes to make it slightly more aero. I have to remove, remove this one as well. Can't ride with a bag on. And here's the support team. Nicola, or Nicola and Karu. How's it going guys? Nervous? Uh, very nervous. What's your expectations of the day? Oh, a win. Just a win. And your expectations? Win <laughs> too. No pressure. Alright, short jog is over, it is now 45 minutes until start I think. As you can hear it's very windy and uh, they decided to shorten the swim so instead of 750 meters I think we will do uh, I think we will do 300 meters or 500 meters. They're announcing it right now. Ah, we'll see. Anyway, you heard Nico, he said the wind is uh, what do you expect? Maybe I will. I don't know, it's uh, always scary when you come to a new place to race because I know no one here, I have no idea who's a good swimmer, who's a good rider, who's a good runner and so on, so we'll see, but I'm gonna try to race from the front and uh, yeah, I mean it's no, not life and death today. Yo, I'm back again. Okay, so uh, new update, we will have no swim. The swim is cancelled due to the wind, so we will start. I don't know if you can see, just the swim exit and then run to the bikes. Interesting. And this changes the race quite a lot because I think there's a lot of strong cyclists here that I was hoping to gap in the water. So that's the news. Interesting race. Uh, how are you feeling about uh, racing uh, duathlon rather than a triathlon? Well, I'm a previous uh, <coughs> junior Swedish champ in duathlon, so. He's gonna be very fast. Yeah, it's a great way to murder your legs. So, good luck, boy. So, as you heard, uh, I told you first that there was gonna be uh, just a short run into the transition, but we're actually doing a duathlon. So, first we ran 1.5k, I think and then uh, riding uh, 26 kilometers and then uh, finishing, off, finishing off with a 5k run. The start was very fast, there was a lot of juniors in the race so they really wanted to push the first, let the juniors do their thing in the beginning and then they slowly died so I was number two into the first transition here and uh, the transition was quite good, um, kept my place and going out on the bike and as you can see the rain started to pour as well had a very nice transition, the goal from the beginning was not to rush or anything because, uh, I don't know, I respect the wet weather, weather and since it wasn't the most important race of the year I just wanted to get on the bike safely, so chilling a bit in the corners and building up a nice speed without. So, got up on the bike, 
nicely and got on the shoes and found a nice rhythm. And I also said that I didn't know my competition, but on the start line I saw two New Zealand brothers, the Martins. And I actually raced one of them in New Zealand a couple years ago. And I knew that they're very strong on the bike and I knew that they would try to do something. So I got behind one of them straight away and like I said I wanted to race from the front so I didn't want to take too much commando. Just sit in there and the plan for the beginning was to uh, ride steadily out to the turning point and then uh, go hard on the way back and so I did. <clears throat> so I sat behind him and uh, all of a sudden his brother came and he didn't attack but he had a much higher pace than the other of us did so he went to the front and I decided to just jump on him, jump on him as fast as I could and the pace really got a lot higher now. Was, uh, okay on, behind him but it was still the legs were burning a bit and in this corner here I made a little mistake I'm too careful in the wet he opened opened up a little gap and I could see that he started to push I felt quite confident in the beginning that I would slowly reel him in but uh, went the opposite way he was slowly getting away from me but I didn't panic I just uh, had a nice even uh, pressure on the paddles uh, and I always had him in my vision. And in a few seconds here the camera will die, or not die, the memory got full so I don't have footage from the whole ride. But I can tell you that he continued to extend the lead a bit, he had as much as 20 seconds but on the way back I took a wrong turn unfortunately and I lost another 20 seconds on him so coming into T2 I had 45 seconds or something I think. So he's the winner of the day. <laughs> How's the feeling? Ah, it was uh, hard the whole way, but it was fun. How's the the first run? Control. Yeah. The juniors they uh, wanted to take the the front, so I just tried to make them do their thing, and then after K they started to die a bit, so I just stay with them, and then had a solid first transition, and the back was good. Uh, we had uh, Kiwi visitors and I, I raced them in uh, Auckland three years ago so I, know that I knew that they were strong on the bike so when one of them attacked I couldn't go with them but I always had them within my vision so and then I didn't know how fast they were on the run so I just tried to go out as hard as I could and luckily I was able to catch them in like three k's in on the run so that was good. But good? It's good to do these races when you don't know your competition, like you have always had to be prepared for anything and I knew pretty straight away that they would go hard on the bike, so I just tried to be focused in the first half and then try to minimize the gap coming back, so no, I'm happy with that. And no crash. Good! So what's your comment? First place, Sweden from Sweden, Ludwig Fribourg! I think I broke my toenail. <sighs> yep. Totally destroyed. So we're at the swimming pool. And I finished the race maybe three hours ago. And now we're gonna do a swim set. What are we doing? How far? Oh, one Yeah, so like 5k or something. Hard smashing it. You know, as this guy said, we're gonna go all in this route. So, no rest. No, but like 1500 meters, just some recovery. It's not gonna be super fun, but I think it's necessary to get some uh, consistency, consistency into the swim. I'm not gonna show anything, so I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back again. I just, I just, not just, but I 
I'm tired. <laughs> I had a nice power nap before and uh, racing and swimming and stuff, yeah, it really makes you tired, so here I am. Anyway, I'm happy with the day. Um, the race was good. I don't know how much I've told you already, but uh, solid performance straight through. But yeah, now it's time to uh, say goodnight, I think. And today I will shoot uh, the goodnight time lapse from uh, the window. The window here, right behind me. So, enjoy it. <laughs> 